Hello, foreign people. This is my second chip you piper that I'm making. First one was a little bit crappy, so I stripped it from the parts. And, uh, yeah. Landing gear, the battery already in it. It has a hatch. So you can open, close. I had the stock landing gear. I don't know if you can see the wire. Yeah, that's the wire in there. And the stock one, I just overlapped it with cardboard and um, doll rods. For like 99 cents a 99 cent store, of course. Uh, two 9 volt batteries hooked up to a servo wire. Say hi, Fuzzy. Motor mount, motor is there. Get glue on there. It's a breakaway, so when it hits the ground, this doll rod gets pushed back into the foam, and this bends at a 45 degree angle. So it saves the motor, and I hope the prop, because I bought from Hobby City two 7 inch propellers and two 6 inch propellers. I'm using 7 inch on this because it's a trainer. I don't really want it to go that fast. And these are the wings. The best wings ever made so far. I am a rookie, so right, let me show you the better one. Yeah, here it is. The real airfoil from 1962 J3 Piper. Um, just, you know, sharpie the flaps in. Uh, I have working ailerons, servos in this little gray, little yellow pouch right there. But I say gray, I don't know why. Homemade hinges and, um, control horns. I did the rudder and elevator. Scale to it. Big rudder. Very big rudder. It's going to be for servos for a channel. Um, so you guys a lot of movement. And I also made it so they could both move at the same time. Yep, down, up, down. And plastic bottle for... Cut piece of plastic bottle for control horns. You can't see them because it's clear, but there's one like right there where my pinky is. Probably can't see it. And I stapled it in, and then hot glued it in. So it stays there nice and good. And where this is right now is going to be exactly that long. From there to about right here. Just cut. Uh, oh, and this is the fuselage. As you can see, very detailed to my perspectives. But, yeah. The motor is going to go right here. Motor mount, I just showed you. Let me put it on top. See, right there. Everything's gonna go in here. Like the battery's gonna be down here. Receiver, speed control, all the connections. Uh, the two servos for the rudder and elevator's gonna go here in the back, and the dowel rod's gonna connect to the elevator and rudder. I didn't do the complete measurements for it, but it looks like it's gonna be at least 28 inches long. 28. And the wings look like they're gonna be like, I don't know, mm, about 41, 42. Pretty big wings with airfoil on it. So it's gonna get a lot of lift and there's gonna be a dihedral also. It's gonna be a 15, deg no, not 15, 10 degree dihedral. Um, just enough so when I turn with the rudder, I'm gonna have to use aileron and it's much stable in the wind because it's Winner's almost here. Win ah, winner's almost here. In the Seaside Park, it's gonna be hell. So, hope it didn't crash. One more view. Oh, and by the way, I eyeballed the whole drawing from the computer screen. I just, I only took a couple angle me measurements, like here and here, and right there, right there. Wings are going to be six. They're six inches and a quarter wide, so they're pretty big. My hands are not that big. I'm just 15, so not that big. Controllers, the stock. This from my first J3, the stock one, which sucks. I bought it and it only flew for about a minute and a half until it dove straight to the ground because the wings are straight. This one I modified so the nose is longer, so the CG's farther back, so it's more stable. 
That's only going to be slightly nose heavy. The one that I bought was so nose heavy that if you threw it, it would dive straight to the ground. And I didn't know that. It's my first time I ever bought beginner crashes. It. I don't know why until Dave said in a video about the Cessna 182. Flat wings, fly slow, that's bad. This is the receiver I'm going to be using. Four channel receiver. Um, that's basically it. I'm just waiting for my package of two servos for props, uh, extension wires, and yeah, new motor and speed control. The speed control burnout out on the 180 is too weak for this one. This one's going to be 10% bigger than the stock one. Not as long though. They made it longer for beginners, but I flew my old J3 and it was the same size, well, same length, but the wings were a little bit shorter. Because I thought they were too long, but it looks great. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.